One, two, three. One, two, three. Yo guys, what's up, Soulfy? Welcome back to the newest video. Today, as you guys can see, we're doing something a little different. I'm gonna be going through the submissions for You Laugh, You Lose, the whole Le Why. Yeah, that whole thing, I'm just gonna go through and see what people put. Uh, this is literally off the top, random video. I've never recorded anything on my computer before. Somehow we're still getting 60 FPS, so I'm pretty, pretty happy. We're gonna go through, I might laugh, I might lose. I just did the thing on accident. Did you laugh or did you lose? My eyes are already watering, great. PewDiePie reviews, baked beans, few days later. Oh my God. My eyes are watering again. A thoughtful spot. Who's thoughtful spot? Thoughtful. <laughs> Is that an actual thing? I can't spell. Wow. <laughs> I'm afraid to click on any of these because I'll get. I'll, somebody will claim something. That's a nice Photoshop. Good job. Oh my eyes. Good lord, PewDiePie. Why? PewDie Bird. Hey, how's it going, bros? My name is PewDiePie. Top of the morning, two ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why does that have 8,838 upvotes? Women saved from rapists by gay rapists that raped the rapist. There's- <laughs> There's always a bigger fit! <laughs> Look at this girl's face in the background! Look at- <laughs> uh, I can't stop crying. I got cold chills too, man. Easy pills to swallow. Felix is a really nice guy. News people. That is true! The media just like, leech. You talk about leeches, man. If we get into like the stream snipers and like leeches of the world, news. The news is the biggest leech. Sometimes it's good, some most time it's just it's bad. I don't even watch the news anymore, honestly. The only thing that makes it my way is okay. So I'm gonna go to Twitter and we're gonna see what is considered news. Okay? It's top moments, what's considered news. Three YouTubers die after falling over a waterfall. Okay, not what I expected. Uh, yeah, mm, hum. That and National Fried Chicken Day. This six-year-old McDonald's burger is being sold to the highest bidder? Cut, cut the, cut the Reddit, cut the Reddit. We're, what is this? We're looking this up. Nature refused to take this burger. Hold on, what? Nature refused to take this burger. Man selling six-year-old McDonald's cheeseburger has learned a lot. I just had McDonald's and I'm considering not going back. If any of their food can survive six years? On June 7th, 2012, a local farmer in Ontario, Canada started- Oh, I clicked on McDonald's, whoops. Okay. Started the ultimate fast food experiment to test the age-old rumors that McDonald's products don't rot. Why did he decide six years was a good amount? Did he just get tired of keeping it around? I imagine this man was going through his attic, shuffling through things, maybe moving, and then like under a pack of like old book pictures of his high school graduation that he refuses to look at was just this, this folded wrapped up burger. And then the wave of flashbacks just hit him. While the burger lost a lot of moisture, of course it did. It went through six years. The cheese turned more of a light brown color. Is this it? That's not it. That's just a picture of a burger. Yeah, okay, Big Mac and french fries. Getty's image, of course. I'm selling my six-year-old McDonald's cheeseburger and fries. You know you want to buy them. Get your own piece of undying history today. Original purchase, June 7th. Does he have the receipt for this? Oh my god, look at that brown. Current bid $150. Here, I'll put, I'll put mine in. Wouldn't even let me type dumb. I misspelled this. All right, guess it's not getting my bid. Friend challenge Alexander decided to add a controlled variable to his experiment. He cooked a homemade cheeseburger and fries for comparison. The five-year-old organic product has f fared much worse. So there's two people holding on to burgers for much longer than what? As a race of humans, why have we gotten to the point where we can say that two people in the world, there's probably more out there, honestly. This is just, this is just the only one that's made the news. Why can we say that we have people that have held on to cheeseburgers for like five to six years as a challenge? You don't just go home and go, I feel like I want to buy McDonald's, not eat it though. I want to hold on to a burger for six years. God, dumb. Dumb. Anything else to this? No, just these sponsored stories. It takes 10 years off your face. If I took 10 years off my face, I'd look nine. I already look like a baby. I don't need that. Why did you tag the Ellen show? You don't need to get on Ellen for this. If you get on the Ellen, if you get on Ellen for the... No, take me where I want to go. All right, we're just gonna... 
Yeah. Well, I, uh, I wanted to look at PewDiePie's subreddit and found a six-year-old McDonald's cheeseburger and fries. Uh... Is that storming? Okay, I'm cutting everything here. It gets weirder and weirder. Now, what's the secret? What's the secret, McDonald's? Why are your burgers lasting six years? A better question, why are people considering buying it for $150? I don't know. I'm done. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go down in the comments. Let me know about what you would hold on to for six years food-wise. Uh... The only thing I could think of is like peach rings, but that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like I said, go down in the comments, leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm not eating McDonald's anymore.